Hey, this is GJ, just a regular guy making games for fun, and I joined the Lost Relic Games Game Jam. In my last devlog, I talk about how I came to design the game mechanics and art style for my game Three of Us, a minimalistic puzzle game inspired by three body orbits. In this devlog, I'll talk about the coding process, the game submission, and future plans for my game Three of Us for the Lost Relic Games Game Jam. From my last devlog, I managed to tweak the physics to get a perfect circular orbit. So the first thing I need to do is make the scale perfect as how I designed it in Inkscape. So I basically just dragged the PNG from Inkscape into Unity and display using a sprite renderer and scaled the balls just as I designed it in Inkscape. And surprisingly, it worked without any further tweaks for the physics. I then also tested Fusion, which worked perfectly. Basically, it works by uh, detecting collisions, and once a collision is detected, one of the balls disappear and the other ball just uh, moves its position in between the two balls and the velocity is just averaged between the two, giving the illusion of fusion. Uh, although this could definitely look a lot better, but as a prototype, I am satisfied. I then also tested bouncing, which is basically just giving a physic material to the wall and setting the bounciness to one. I then tested the physics between the three balls and it works as intended. I also tested the drag and release mechanism, which works well, although there is no indicator yet. Next, it was time to do orbit prediction. For the orbit prediction, there are typically two ways to go about it. First method is to calculate it using pure mathematics, and the second way is to simulate the entire thing and giving a prediction. The first one is very efficient performance wise, but I would need to be implementing my own physics system. This is because if you use the Unity's physics system and you try to apply mathematics to try to predict the motion, the way Unity calculates it may not be the same as how we calculate it theoretically. So I need to implement my own physics system, but there isn't enough time for that in this game jam. So I went for the second method instead. The second method is basically simulating a certain number of steps forward all in one frame and each frame you update the prediction line to show oh, where the ball is going to be in. All the settings were the same in both the game scene and the simulation but somehow I wasn't able to get this working for a very long time. The prediction is still inaccurate especially when there are more balls and when fusion is involved. I was working and it was like 4am at that time and I just decided to make my own physics system. I thought it was very difficult, but when I actually started doing, it was not that difficult. I get to keep all the colliders, but instead of on collide, I use on trigger because on collide only works when there are rigid bodies attached to the game object. Speaking of rigid bodies, the rigid body is only in charge of, uh, in my case, governing the velocity and acceleration. So as long as I know how to implement the velocities and accelerations, I do not need to use the rigid bodies. Therefore, I could implement my own physics. I already know how to calculate the force, which was already used to calculate all of these orbits. Uh, so I just need to replace the rigid bodies with my own. So as we know, F equals to MA. So the acceleration is already easily known if we assume the mass equals to one. Acceleration is also the rate of change of velocity. So each frame, the velocity is updated by acceleration times delta t, or in unity, delta t meaning delta time. Velocity is also the rate of change of position, so the position is calculated in the same way. The tricky part comes with the wall bounce. In the end, it was calculated by reflecting the velocity against the normal, in which the normal is calculated using the position of the ball and the closest point of contact between the ball and the wall. After implementing my own physics system, everything works just as intended. A huge plus is that since I implemented the entire thing, I know exactly what is happening at every single line of the code. Satisfied with the feel of the game, I started UI and level design. For the UI, I use this framework called Very GUI, which is completely free from the assets store. Basically, the good thing about this UI framework is that it completely decouples from Unity, so that you can design the UI completely separately from Unity and just use it, plug it into Unity. So this makes the UI design process much easier and faster, and everything is just really clear and easy to use as well. Of course, the functionalities need to be written in code, 
but at least the design part it's very easy. But I really didn't have much time to design like a really really nice looking UI uh, because it's a game jam and I don't have much time. So I just designed a very simple title view and a game view. And the game view basically has a restart button, a home button, and the level indicator showing what level you are currently in. And then also started some basic level design. I didn't have much time to make a tutorial and I personally always loved games that teach you as you play. So for the first level, you first release one ball which teaches you how to drag and drop. Walls were then introduced, then the second ball, then the gray wall which stops your motion, as well as fusion. Three balls were then introduced and I roughly made some levels. Almost out of time, I roughly made some cover art and submitted my game. For some reason, I was not able to build a working HTML game and I was running out of time. So I only came out with a Windows build and that's why I submitted it. Although it was just a prototype, it was a working and presentable prototype and I'm kind of proud of it. This is what I made within a week, balancing both life and game dev. Although I pulled one all-nighter doing this game, especially implementing the physics system, I only pulled out one all-nighter, which I think was a pretty good achievement. Over the next few days, I was really happy to see people actually playing my game and actually giving me really good feedback. This is my first time actually putting something out there and just being in a community. Seeing all the support from all of these people, I was determined to actually polish and finish this game and put it out there as a mobile game even after the game jam. Regarding my future plans for the game, first I need to figure out how to make a web playable build from Unity, not just a Windows build so more people could play it and more people could give more feedback on the game. Then I would need to polish the game a lot further. A lot of people in the comments for my game mentioned that they would like to edit the forces of the ball before they release the ball and this is definitely a feature I would intend to add. I would also need to polish the art style, add more levels and add some sound effects. After all that is finished, I hope I could publish my game as a mobile game. Small steps, but sure steps. The goal is to experience fully finishing a project from development to production. I'll probably start a new devlog series for polishing the game Three of Us and also actually publishing it. I have no idea how long it is going to take, but it's going to be fun. That's the end of this devlog. A little long, but I really want to include all of the little details of how I implement things because that is something I look for in other people's devlogs, not just their experience, but I also want to see how they actually do things so I could learn from it, not just like the whole uh, overview. For the code, I hope to put it out later sometime in the future after I do a little bit more modifications so that we can all learn from each other. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Just a quick update for you guys. I don't know if you guys remember, but I started working full time as a junior game developer. I always wanted to make a video about my first day at work, but I wasn't really sure if I could actually do something like that because I don't want to lose my job. But I asked my boss and she was very okay and she was very supportive, which I'm very grateful about. And I will start making that video. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you then.